All right. Ready for some chill times? Some chill times with coffee talk again. <laughs> Well, if you don't, well, if you're not ready for that, then too bad. Go somewhere else, <laughs> cause it's coffee talk day. Continuing where we left off. <laughs> World Health or World Health Organization vows to stop. Did I do this one already? I don't think I did. Not sure. <laughs> World Health, World Health, eh, World Health Organization vows to stop major hospitals from selling, from selling Fury sedative illegally. Couchella, ten reasons why you should go. The heck is that? Sports tournament in space might be only a few decades away. I hope I didn't already do this. One way to find out. Nope, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> he never really ch he really never changed <laughs> oh yeah I got something new got the ginger latte hmm? it says my order is arriving Hold on. I might have to actually pause. Oh. Hold on. It says my pizza is arriving. So excuse me. Resuming. Okay. Yeah, I did. Yeah, my pizza did come in. <laughs> did not expect that. It said it said an hour, and it's less than an hour. Oh well. Presuming. <clears throat> you never. <laughs> what was my hide voice? <laughs> he never really changed. <laughs> I know. But it was surprisingly nice. Catching up with people from back then. Thank you for forcing me to do it. Don't mention it. <clears throat> Don't mention it. <laughs> Don't mention it. <laughs> hey, Brandon. I'd like to order again. The usual. Back to the experiment? <laughs> Back to the experiment? <laughs> yes. I think the last one was the remedy. But there's no harm in checking some other combinations. All right. You know what to do. <laughs> At this point. So, Galahad with the tea and the milk and ginger. <laughs> with the tea and the milk and the ginger. Try this. <laughs> Try this. Thank you. <laughs> Just what I needed. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Hyde? Would you like to order anything? Oh, would you like to order anything else? I'm good for now. I couldn't help overhearing you both. It sounds like you two go way back. We do, I guess. He was my bodyguard. Oh? Didn't you meet here? Yeah, when this was a bar. <laughs> what happened exactly? He was getting his ass kicked by a couple of dwarves. Ugh, those two bastards. <laughs> those two bastards. It wasn't a pretty sight, so I intervened. Aren't vampires supposed to be... You know, tough. 
Just because I'm a vampire doesn't mean I know Kung Fu. <laughs> Screenshot. Besides, I had a couple of drinks. I could have taken them both if I was sober. A couple? Really? You were trashed, I... <clears throat> you told him I was your bodyguard. Wait, were you not his bodyguard? Not at the time. We didn't even know each other. But because of that whole fiasco, we both got kicked out. And then this wasted vampire, this wasted vampire stuck to me. Like, well, you know, to a blanket. Obviously, he was too drunk to drive. So, I hailed a cab. Turns out, he was also too drunk to tell the driver where he lived. <laughs> and I was stuck with him until morning. <laughs> Thanks for not leaving me on the street, Kala. Those dwarves could have killed me. Who were they? I'm not going to confirm or deny anything. But it's possible they may have may have had ties to the Mafia. And they might have lost some of their money on the stock market. A lot of their money. <laughs> Yikes. They wanted me to launder their dirty money. So I decided to screw them over instead. Yeah, I overheard what they were talking about before the fight started. I knew Hyde was innocent, and that's why I helped him. He might be an annoying asshole, but he's not a thief. <laughs> what a stroke of luck. The universe is sending me a guardian angel in my time of need. So the next morning, I offered him a job as my bodyguard for real. After all the trouble you caused me the night before? <laughs> hey, I took you to breakfast. <laughs> Don't tell me that counted for nothing. I have to say... It wasn't my proudest moment. I was broke. Breakfast was an offer I couldn't refuse. <laughs> it was the late 60s, mind you. It wasn't easy finding a job, especially for people like me. Hmm. Werewolves? Hmm. War vets. War veterans. Ah, I see. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. So how did you go from working as a bodyguard to working in the hospital gala? Well, he was working with me, I noticed. Hide. I'd prefer if we skipped that part. I'm sorry, but I don't want to go any details about it. It's alright. Forgive me for asking. I don't mind telling you the quick and dirty version. Long story short, long story short, he helped me out with, with something. Let's just say something from my past. Thanks to that help, I found a new purpose in life. Helping other people live. Of course, it's not easy for a veteran werewolf to become a nurse or doctor. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. So you could say I owe this guy my life. Thanks to his stubborn persistence in helping me when I needed it. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your story with me. I didn't expect such a tale from you. I know. <laughs> anyway, Brandon. I'd like to order something now. What would you like? Can you make me a tea-based drink that's warm and cool at the same time? Hmm. That's a challenge. All right, tea, lemon, honey. A Midsummer Night's Dream. Here's your order. Exactly what I wanted. Hmm. By the way, it feels like this place is missing something today. Yeah, I haven't seen her today. Heh, 
Speak of the devil. Hello, good pe- Hello, good people! Uh, and one vampire. <laughs> it's good to see you too. Freya. Freya. <laughs> By the way, we were just talking about you. Oh, really? What about me? I was just surprised that you weren't here. Is that how you pick up girls young enough to be your granddaughter? That won't work on me. <laughs> I've no interest in flirting with you. I've got high standards, you know. <laughs> you wa hey, you walked into that. <laughs> you... <laughs> you look so tired, Freya. Hard day at work? Oh, how could you tell? Call it werewolf senses. Right. I showed Brandon my draft, and I actually got some good feedback. That's good to hear. Glad I could help. So I spent the whole day rewriting stuff, and I also did some stories for the paper. Overall, it was a good day. That's good to hear. But please, don't forget to take a break. It's easy to get carried away by work when you're on a roll. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Will do, sir. <laughs> and speaking of hospitals, how's your hospital admitting, admitting life going? That's not even a word for you. <laughs> Actually, I'm not even sure what you do there. Hmm. It's pretty boring to talk about. But mostly, I handle operational stuff happening in the hospital. Thing, things like how much a specialist costs and how much it affects our income. I also deal with patients and their families. If they require intensive care, such as operations, I go through what we need, I go through what we do and how much it would cost them. Kinda like a biz dev for people's lives then. You could say that. Damn, that sounds complicated and hard. That's why I'm suited for my job. Someone who gets very emotionally attached to patients would find this job pretty tough. Whereas heartless people like my friend here only see it from a business perspective. Good point. Why do people really talk about your kind of job? I guess most people don't really notice we exist, or think about the necessity of it. Exactly! It's an interesting job! No one talks about it! Maybe because most admins are just like me. We rarely talk about work outside the hospital. Why? For me, I just don't find any reason to. It's the patient's personal lives anyway. Such professionalism and loyalty. <laughs> you should keep hold, keep hold of that mindset, especially in front of this lady here. You. <laughs> he needs to be a little. He needs to be a bit less loyal, though. <laughs> Hide. You've been doing this job for a while, right? Almost fifty years now. Whoa! I didn't do that. Wait. 50 years in the same position? Uh-huh. Holy! Ask for a promotion, man! They keep offering me new positions. Mostly managerial. Take it! Not interested. Why? It's not something I want. Besides, as I've told you before, I fit perfectly in this position. But the salary must be better if you take the promotion, right? Of course, but what I get from at but what I get at the moment is more than enough for me right now, and I still get raises while I'm doing this job. <laughs> I really can't figure you out. That's Gala for you. Anyway, my shift's starting soon. It was nice catching up with both of you. Are you going to stay, Hyde? Yeah, I'm still enjoying the vibes here. I'll see you in a few weeks, I guess. Yep. Safe trip. 
See you around, Brandon. And you, Freya. See you. Take care on your way. You know, it's kind of hard to believe. Someone like Gala could be your best friend. We were just talking about that before you arrived. Oh, really? Man, I missed an interesting story. So, how did you guys meet? Seriously, I have to retell the story? Hmm? Yes? Come on, you're not going anywhere, right? Huh. Alright then. We met in this place back when it was a bar. Whoa! I never knew Gala used to be in the army. I mean, he's got the build to be on the front line. Still though, why did you make the jump from, how I should say this, a very physical job to medic? Well, he's not comfortable talking about it right now. But you know why, right? Hmm. Are you trying to squeeze the story from me? Obviously! He doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Seriously, Freya? Come on! Alright, Freya. You need to chill. <laughs> I won't get into details. But, going to war? It messes with your head. Oh. You see why Gala doesn't want to talk about it, huh? I don't get it, but it must be difficult, especially back then. The only thing he was confident in was his strength. So he only did work that relied on his muscle. That wouldn't help him get over his trauma though, right? Of course not. But it was the only thing he could do. Or at least, the only thing he thought he could do. But you hired him for his muscle? Hey, I didn't know about all that at the time. <laughs> Besides, he's good at being a bodyguard. And we weren't that close yet. So, no personal feelings. I needed his strength, but then I got to be interested in him. Interested? Hmm. I think he's a cool person. That's all. After a few months, I noticed his problem. I suggested he talk about it with someone, seek help, which he refused. No surprises there, but I kind of pushed him to do it. How? It's complicated. Eventually, he did go to get professional help. Of course, I have no idea what happened in his therapy sessions, but in the end, he found a new purpose in his life. He quit working for me, and not so long after that, he started working at the hospital. And he's been work... <laughs> oh god, what was his voice? <laughs> what was his voice? Good evening, everyone. Oh boy. Good evening. It's nice to see you again. We are also glad to see you, Barista. By the way, I didn't catch your name the last time you visited. Do you have a name? Name? We sure have. On Earth, please call us Neil. Neil. Yes. Neil. Is that your real name? Oh, of course not. Due to the nature of our communication, we don't really <laughs> need trivial things like names to interact. But from what we have learned here, it seems that like the name Neil has a lot of associations with Earthling efforts and intergalactic, and intergalactic exploration. Ah, I get what you mean. I believe we did not meet the last time we were here. I saw you from afar when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. So, hello, my name is Freya. You could say I'm a regular here. And you, sir? Hide. You come here often? 
For someone who doesn't live in Seattle, yeah. Oh, you're not from around here. Neither are we. Where do you come from? Far away. By far away, you mean a few thousand miles or more? More. Much more. More to the point that your strange calculation system means nothing. That sounds far away indeed. What are you doing here in Seattle? And do all and do all your kind dress like this? Oh, this? We chose this appearance based on an image we saw when we first arrived. Image? Ah, the, uh, the Arimi Jinju album cover. No wonder you look familiar. As for what we are doing, this place really this place is really the perfect spot to practice our communication skills with Earthlings. But before that, please let us order something from the barista. <laughs> what do you want to drink tonight? The usual. That is how you say it, yes? Yes. So anything. Yes. We won't be able to taste the difference anyway. You really can't taste anything. Yes. What if I can brew a drink that can make you feel something? Interesting premise. But we doubt you will be able to do that. Challenge accepted. Please surprise us. All right. So, a Milky Way. Milk, honey, and mint. I want to I wonder if I can make that. Let's see. I hope I got this right. Thank you. What the? Interesting. Before you ask. Yes, that's how they drink. <laughs> this. Uh. <laughs> is he about to explode? <laughs> what is this? We have never been able to taste anything in our life. But this, this, this is a breakthrough. We have to report immediately. Done. Thank you so much from all of our kind. You are one interesting person. Thank you. That was a compliment, yes? Normally, yes. Well, you can't be so sure with Freya. That that definitely was the highest form of compliment. What are you, Neil? Us? We are travelers. Doing our job in space, you call Milky Way. What kind of job? We are tasked with the mission to spread our seeds. <laughs> you really are here to find a date? All the way from a galaxy far, far away. Wow. It turns out pervs exist everywhere in the universe. <laughs> Feeling attacked, old man? Not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand. But we are glad if we can make you laugh. Oh, the pleasure was mine. If I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? Hmm. We are sorry, but that is classified information. Oh man. Hmm. But we believe it is all right to share it, to share it with you tonight. Thanks to this eye-opening drink from the barista. I owe you, I owe you this story. <laughs> so why? Everyone, including us and you and everyone else, is tasked with keeping the balance of the universe. But sometimes, it is hard for some civilizations to maintain balance by themselves. Because unknown threats that are beyond each civilization's power can, can appear. And that is where we come in. Uh, I still don't see the relation between that and impregnating us. <laughs> You're quite dense, aren't you? Hey! You came here to give seeds. So a half-breed of your kind can be born in, on Earth. That is correct. 
the half breeds will be half earthling and half whatever you are. Yes. Assuming that you have some powers that we can't comprehend. You're trying to make sure that Earth will have its own protector. That is 100% correct. Holy shit! You're trying to give us a superhero? Yes, that is what you people call the protector. But why go through all the hassle? It sounds like a lot of work. Why not just explain to someone? Explain this, why not just explain this to someone? I'm sure a lot of women wouldn't mind giving birth to a superhero. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm giving ear to this. Sadly, it is not that simple. The future protector has to be someone that loves this planet more than anything. They have to be born out of love, which we have learned is a very complicated feeling on Earth. We have it easier back home due to the nature of our communication. We understand everyone deeply by default. So everyone on our planet loves each other from the moment they're born. That sounds beautiful. And creepy. Why? <laughs> it sounds like your planet is a giant spherical, spherical orgy. Wow. That was a badly chosen word. But it's roughly similar to the truth. Oh my. If what you say is true, shouldn't we help them get laid with love? <laughs> Guidance is all we need. Otherwise, we might be responsible for the birth of a superhero, super evil person instead. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, how's the mission going so far? We cannot say it is going well. I'm not surprised. With how quirky and unique you are, not many women can handle that. Could you handle them though? Me? I don't know. What do you think? You're a pretty adventurous girl. I wouldn't be surprised if you decided to go on a date. Or maybe go further. If it got you a good story. <laughs> oh, you're not offended by that. Not in the slightest. You're wrong, though. I go on a date with him. But I don't like to sleep around. Really? To be honest, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Excuse me, miss. From what we gather... Does it mean you're willing to breed in that breed with us in exchange for our stories? Wow, no wonder your mission isn't going well. I don't mind going out with you for a drink or dinner in exchange for stories, but I'll only sleep with someone I'm serious about. But our mission is serious. It's not that. You either have to be my boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. We have heard those heard of those turns before. Let us check them once again. Hmm. This is... This is very strange. According to what we found, many Earthlings mate with one person exclusively for their entire lives? Yes, that's what's called... That's called commitment. What? Such a strange concept. Then why, with such rules, do you still face overpopulation problems? Hmm. Now that you mention it, we don't have enough control of ourselves. <laughs> and those in charge also don't have enough control of us. Not to mention, some races live for a very, very long time. Some, even though there are rules about having kids. So even though... And they can be strictly enforced. A lot of people still break them. We know Earthlings boast about the concept of free will. But we thought your kind also loved the concept of restraint and taking care of the planet. Since when? At least, that was what we gathered from your information network. 
theoretically, that should be the case. But Earthlings are stupid. That's the easiest way to put it. We learned so much today. But we have another question for Miss Freya. Ask away. How can we become your husband? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> First of all, I was just going step by step. Most of the time, you start by dating boyfriends or girlfriends, you know? Before you talk about marriage. Oh, okay. So, how can we become your boyfriend? You could start by asking her whether she's actually single. Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? Yes, I am single. Do you want to be our girlfriend? Now? The path of starting a date varies between people, but usually it takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone. Wow. The breeding process on Earth is surely extremely complicated. It can be easier if you're a smooth talker. Smooth talker? Someone good at communicating with others. That would be really challenging for us. Even after all that, making kids is still in a totally different league. Most women prefer if their male partners wear condoms. Condoms? It's something you wear to prevent pregnancy. Why would you do the mating ritual if you do not want to have offspring? <laughs> Pleasure. All this information is too much to process in one evening. So, we talked about using condoms. But how do your kind have sex? Like, seeing how you drink... A condom might be something you can't use at all. Hmm. That's true. How do you do it? We are pretty flexible with that. But we cannot tell you the details. Unless we agree to the mating ritual. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to imagine how it's done. Oh, you do not need to worry. We will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Especially the mental part. We did our research, and we tried it on the testing object we made. <laughs> it was proven. The mental, capa uh, the mental capacity of Earthlings is far more complicated than anything else on Earth, sir. Oh, we did not know that. Being, a being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It is. I have to agree with that. Anyway, thank you so much for the information you you have given us tonight. It means a lot for our mission. We have to report our findings to the base. How will you proceed with your mission this with this newfound information? We are not sure yet. It is yet to be discussed after all. It was really nice talking with all of you. You're welcome. We are off now. Bye. Take care on your way, sir. <laughs> that was really something. Indeed. You said the first time they came here was for a date, right? Yeah, but their date never came. And they mistook Miss Myrtle for their date. The game developer orc? Wow, I tried to think how that went. It was pretty awkward. <laughs> but you can't be angry at such naivete. I guess so. By the way, has that young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? You mean Miss Lua? Yeah, her. Oh, showing some concern now, are you? I'm just curious. No, I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend... But her boyfriend did come a few days ago. And Freya was being pretty nosy to the point that Mr. Gala joined the discussion. My, my. <laughs> you really have a knack for starting trouble. <laughs> Sadly, I have to agree with that. 
It's not easy to make Gala join a random conversation. Unless it really piques his interest. Or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. <laughs> well, I need to catch a flight to Seattle tomorrow. So, I'm off for today. Oh, you're leaving Seattle so soon? It's only for a week or so. I'll be back here sooner than you know. Oh, well, it'll be a peaceful week then. <laughs> anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. Hmm, I didn't even notice that. You really don't care about business. She didn't order anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Anyway, Freya, do you want to share a cab? Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. Alright then, see you around. Take care on your way, folks. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. That was inc that was a rather interesting discussion. <laughs> oh. Dwarven made cars face challenge against unexpected competitor. <laughs> Protest over government treatment treatment of Atlantic immigrants. Ooh. That sounds pretty similar to another news article. Uh I wanna say I believe there was one about the border patrol. And certain immigrants being kept at the border and the border was the border conditions were deplorable. <laughs> the Mother Earth organization fights to save more forest. Hmm. That's a common one. Yeah, I, I believe there was a news article about the deplorable conditions of the border patrol. Or like, there were so many people being held up at border patrol that things just got really, really bad. But that's going to end it for today's uh, for today's chill time with Coffee Talk. The next day it's going to next day is going to be a lot more. We're going to have a lot of people to talk to <laughs> from the looks of things. Anyway, see you guys later. <laughs>